Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video today. We're checking out the Chevrolet Rocket Bunny Corvette Stingray. All right, we're going to do a shift pattern. We're going to show you how to tune this car and we're going to do a nice little review on it and let you know what we think about it. So let's get into the tuning, guys. Let's look at how to tune this one. All right, so on this car, you're going to keep the final drive at the stock setting, which is all the way over at 5.0. You're going to pull your tire slider down and watch the Evo points. You want those to get as high as possible. Now on a maxed out car, all right, this ends up coming all the way down to 8 PSI. So you're going to have your tires at 8 PSI, your final drive at 5.0, and you're going to pull your nitrous over and you're going to watch those Evo points and you want those to get as high as possible. So right around here, we got 1595, 94, 95 all right 1595 so that's where you want to have your nitrous if this car is maxed out if it's not maxed out you're probably going to have to play with it a little bit you can never just copy somebody else's tune unless your parts match theirs exactly changing parts changes the way your car needs to be tuned so let's do some test runs and get in how to drive this guy so we currently have a dyno time of 10.500 on this car, and this thing destroys the dyno. Huge thank you to Nitro for CSR for letting me use his account that has this max.car on it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to make this video for you guys. Link to his YouTube channel is in this video's description. All right, so what we're going to do is let go of the gas a little bit after number one, try and get a perfect start, instantly shift into second, a split second later shift into third, and I'm finding nitrous on try fourth, fifth, and sixth and see which one works best for you. As you change parts, what gear you hit nitrous on might actually change. All right, but maxed out, I'm finding fifth gear seems to be the best. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and nitrous. All right, this, this is a really cool car, actually. It's a dino destroyer, guys. It's a dis dyno destroyer. Remember, we were running a 10.5. All right, on the dyno. 10.5 on the dyno. But when you see what time this ran, we got a 10.3004, guys. We're running 10.3. So it is destroying dyno by about three tenths of a second. So this car should be pretty good at live racing until it gets pushed. So three tenths of a second dyno beater. That's actually really, really good. All right. Now that shift pattern should work for stage 5 cars, stage 4 cars, whatever. Alright. Um, yeah. Very cool car, guys. It should be great at live racing. This car should do really well at live racing until it gets pushed. Remember, if you're beating somebody by a lot, try to slow down before you cross the finish line. The more you beat Dino by, the quicker you get pushed into the faster and faster lobbies. On the dyno beating car so try not to beat dyno to too, by too much when you're live racing it um this car is going to be great at all the little daily races okay this car will be great at all the little daily races um it's got a really good top speed guys all right so this car will be really good at uh, any type of race that requires you to have high top speed um this car is capable of doing something like i think it's like almost 300 miles per hour all right, 290, 290, 300, somewhere in that range. Um, the only time this car really struggles is the 0 to 60 and 0 to 100, okay? This car is, I don't think you're going to be able to get this car to beat Tempest. Um, you got to do a 0 to 60 race in something like 1.3 to beat Tempest. And this car, yeah, this car is not going to hit that 0 to 60 in 1.3, I don't think. So their fourth, unfortunately, no, this will not be a good car to beat Tempest. The final drive's already moved all the way over to the right. So I don't think you're going to squeeze any extra acceleration out of this. Maybe a teeny tiny bit, but nah, this, this one, it's got the top speed. It's fast enough to beat the boss, but it does not have the acceleration to beat Tempest 3 Tier 4, guys. Unfortunately, it's just not going to do it. So it's got everything except for the acceleration, all right? Beautiful car. I really like this one a lot. Somebody stole the engine again. People are always stealing my engines, guys. I don't know which one of you do it. 
please bring my engine back, okay? How would you feel if I came to your garage and stole your engine? Oh man, somebody somebody played a prank, man. They put it in the back. Who would do that? Who put my engine in my trunk, man? Put it back in the front where it belongs, guys. Alright. Enough of my stupid antics. So if you max this out, you should see 10.2 to 10.3s. It's a very fast tier 4 car. Alright, it's got the 5 purple stars. It's got high EVO points. It's got over 1,000, meaning when you win a live race, it's going to do great at earning respect points. So this is a really cool car. If you don't have a good live racing car, this is something you can definitely level up if you got it to live race with. I think it's going to do great. I have I can't really take this account in the live racing and test it, but I have a feeling this car is going to be an awesome live racer, all right? It's going to be great at everything except for the the sprint races where you have to do fast 0 to 60 or 0 to 100. So, yeah. Awesome car overall. I really like the way it looks. I like the way it drives. Very cool car. All right, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell. Set those notifications to all if you don't want to miss any good stuff. If you really want to help support the channel, right next to the subscribe button is a little join button. If you would like to become a paid channel member, that would be super awesome. And, of course, Danny Lightning merch is always available from the store right off of my YouTube page. So, anyways, you all have a great day. See ya.